Hey guys, it's Adrian over BHA here bringing you a new video. Uh, this is kind of a quick video. So I mentioned this one in my uh, status update uh, last week. This is kind of a cool video. I don't know if you guys are having problems uh, like I do, but with everybody being stuck at home right now, uh, I find that my kids have become more and more addicted to their electronics. Trying to limit their uh, time on those electronics gets difficult sometimes, especially my son who loves playing Xbox and PlayStation and all that kind of stuff. So um, the great thing about uh, Unify and uh, Home Assistant is together we can basically uh, set up automations and stuff like that to uh, to block their internet usage. Uh, you know, at certain times, you know, uh, using automations and whatnot, we can. Uh, Basically, uh, you know, when it's bedtime, have it disable uh, the internet for those devices so that they're pretty much forced uh, to uh, get off and do something else or go to bed or whatever. It also works out great uh, if somebody gets grounded from a device or needs to be punished, then of course we can uh, restrict it at that time as well. So uh, I thought it'd be kind of cool to show you how to set this up. With the Unify integration setup in Home Assistant, it is super easy to do now uh, right from the uh, web interface. I used to have to do this, uh, you know, with like a shell command and a uh, SSH script that would run and basically block uh, their usage uh, from the uh, Unify controller itself. But, or with this integration setup, as you can see, you can create this switch within Home Assistant and it works out perfectly. And it's actually pretty easy to set up, so uh, let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, for starters, we're going to uh, basically just create an admin user on the Unify controller. You don't necessarily have to do that, but uh, instead of using the default admin account, I think this is definitely the way to go. Uh, once you do that, then we're going to add that Unify uh, integration into Home Assistant. Some of you may already have that set up, and if you do, then of course we can kind of move forward and uh, move on to the next step. For the next step, we're going to find out the MAC address of the device that we want to add in a block unblock switch. Once we do that, then of course we'll add that MAC address into Home Assistant in the Unify integration. And lastly, I'll show you what that looks like in action. So let's get started. All right, so here we are in the Unify controller. Uh, we're gonna jump over here to the settings uh, section down here at the bottom, and then we're looking for admins, and we're just gonna add new admin. Uh, from here, we basically need to say, let's see, manually set and share the password. And of course, we're gonna set the role as administrator. And that's really all you should have to do, give it a name and password and then we're ready to create and see now i have a admin user uh called has and this is what we can use in the uh, integration into home assistant all right so uh, in the integrations section of home assistant now, as you can see, I'm running the latest version, so I got all the new uh, logos and everything. It looks really slick. And, of course, I already have the Unify integration configured, but if I was going to do it from scratch, I'd hit the plus down at the corner down here and do a search for Unify. And from here, we'll just plug in the IP address of the Unify controller, uh, the username and password that we just set up, and then hit Submit. Once you do that, of course, you'll start to see all of your devices pop in there and everything that it pulls from the Unify controller. Pretty cool. All right, now this step is somewhat optional as well. If you haven't created it or added any of these block unblock switches in the integration yet, then you'll want to look for this MAC address uh, the way you can paste it in there. So uh, i kind of show you what I'm talking about here. Uh, I'm on the Unify controller. I'm going to go down here to uh, the clients section and I think I'm just going to add a block unblock switch for my son's Xbox. So I'm going to search here for Xbox. All 
Uh, and there it is. It's got an IP address, so 10.10.10.45. If I click on that, then of course it'll show all the information. And I just want to copy that MAC address. All right, once we have that, we're ready to move on to the next step. All right, so we're back here in Home Assistant. We are going to go down here to where uh, our Unify integration is and hit Options. And, of course, we can just hit Submit on the first part of it because uh, we don't need to change anything there. Now, here is where, under Network Access Controlled Clients, we could paste that MAC address. But because I already have one listed here, they actually will populate it as a drop-down. So if we hit this little arrow here... We just need to look for that Xbox, and there it is. We'll go ahead and hit the checkbox there. And as you can see, that line now has a comma delimited uh, two items that it has added to the network access control client. We'll hit submit. And then, of course, as well, if you want to uh, also display the bandwidth usage for those devices, you can hit the checkbox there as well. We'll hit submit. And that's pretty much it. If we were to go over to the integration section here and do a search for that Xbox, as you can see now we have a switch in here as well, currently showing to be turned on, uh, which means it is uh, allowing the traffic, it's not blocked or anything like that, so we are good to go. Let's move on to that last step. All right, so uh, just to kind of give you a rundown of everything we have here, on the left, of course, is that switch uh, from Home Assistant. Uh, on the right, in the top here, I'm going to start a ping uh, to the Xbox One just to uh, show you that it is currently online. And then, of course, we also have it showing in the bottom corner here on the Unify controller. Uh, once we start the ping, and then we'll go ahead and hit that switch to turn it off. And as you can see, the ping uh, stopped. It is now not showing anymore on the Unify controller there. And if we turn it back on, then of course the pings resume. And of course it then pops back up on the Unify controller. That's it, guys. So like I said, that's how you set it up. And you could do this with automations. Uh, so if you want to have it... Uh, shut off every night at 10 o'clock or something like that, then you certainly can do that. You can create an automation that says at 10 p.m., turn that switch off, and of course then the Xbox will not have any internet access during that time. Pretty cool little deal. But that's pretty much the end of the video, guys. Uh, a lot of you probably already know how to set that up. Uh, certainly with this integration, it is a lot easier, but I thought I'd do a quick run-through anyway just to give you an idea in case it's something you hadn't thought of. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. Of course, for starters, we uh, created an admin user on the Unify controller that we could use with uh, Home Assistant. Then we uh, added our Unify integration into Home Assistant. Once we did that, we just double checked what the MAC address was for the device that we wanted to block. Once we had that MAC address, then of course we added it into the integration. And lastly, I showed you what that looked like in action. Again, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, definitely worth checking out. If you haven't played around with it at all, it's a pretty cool little deal. I want to thank everybody for donating. Uh, again, every little bit helps. I uh, really appreciate those that have donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. Uh, if you liked the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.